People of YouTube, Gary Gesher again today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for clicking on my video. So three years and two months of free form dreadlocks. Neglect method, free forming, whatever you want to call it, this is it. This is where it's at. Yeah, man. These are super long. Any changes that I've noticed, you might be able to notice a few changes from my last video. You might not. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. If you have noticed a few changes, what are they? Uh, the changes I've noticed is just just length, really. Like these things are long, man. Look at the size of them. Woohoo! Yeah, man. So this is like the longest hair I've had. Like before I had dreads, I was just straight up bald forever. That was it. So having hair came and dreads came at the same time. It wasn't like I had long straight hair beforehand. It grew out from curly and formed into dreads and then went into long hair. So people who are starting the journey from having long hair going into dreads and just thinking right I've got long hair now I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it dread you will have a different journey in, in comparison to this because these are formed from like little tiny things and then gone into big ones whereas yours will you know it'll be a bit more straggly looking if you know what I mean um, but yeah this is the, this is the longest I've ever had my hair and it's it's nice actually man it's quite nice I, I like the feeling of it uh, yeah, the dreads, the dreads are good, man. I love my dreads. I've got to a nice stage with them now where they actually look like dreadlocks rather than just little what the hell's going on with that guy kind of haircut. But yeah, the haircut doesn't beg the question, just the person now. People just think, what the hell is going on with that guy with all that shit going on in his head. But yeah, the sun, I keep it covered up during the week at work. But uh, on a weekend, I've started giving myself a little weekend treat. And getting my dreads out and uh, as you can see the the sun bleaches them which is a nice touch really it's quite cool because they're like brown at the top and blonde at the bottom natural though natural we ain't got no we ain't got no hair dyeing or nothing man these are natural natural dreads just doing their own thing as you can see the different shapes in them these are not straight no crochet no rip and twist no amount of effort really, just straight up natural. Let me see some old classics. If you diehard fans of the channel who know what the crack is, who know where the dreads have started, who know what they're looking for, boom, the claw. This thing is still going strong. Stronger than ever really. Look at the size of that. It's an absolute beast. It's about a foot long now. My antenna. My antenna is quite easy to find these days. My tuner in It's long, man. Comes straight from the crown of my head as well. Straight from the crown. Yeah, man. Some people uh, respond good. Some people respond indifferent, some people respond judgmentally. Which is a little point I'd like to make, right? For any dreadheads who are watching this, any dreadheads who are on about starting the journey or thinking about it or are halfway through the journey, do not let anybody's judgment or anybody's opinion or anybody's comment affect how you feel about your hair on your head or anything you do in life. But just don't let it affect you because the amount of comments you get it doesn't matter because you're doing it for your own reasons and your own way. Like a lot of people associate, they judge, judge your hairstyle and um, automatically associate you with wanting to achieve a certain lifestyle or a certain lifestyle choice. Like I get associated with Rasta, or, you know, he's trying to be a Rasta, he's trying to be a Rasta. No, no, no. I'm not trying to be anything. That is the whole point of it. I'm just being me and doing my own thing. And that's what you need to do watching this video. If you're starting a dread report, starting a dread journey, Make sure you start some dread reports, that'll be fun. But if you're starting a dread journey, 
just go for it, man. Do your own thing. Do your own thing. Don't worry about what anybody else has to say about you. You know, people, I get tons of messages about, you know, how do I deal with comments that people make towards me? What do I do about a job? And you've got to toss it up. It's your personal lifestyle. And does your job or them people around you who do judge you, are they, are they important enough to sacrifice what you want to do with yourself? And no. Do your own thing, man, and let people take you as you are, man. If you want to be a dreadhead, you go be a dreadhead and do it, man, and represent the movement. The freedom, it's all about freedom, man. It's not about trying to blend in with somebody else's culture. Not at all. You know, there's plenty, plenty. the origin of dreadlocks comes from many different cultures. Rastaf Rastafarianism, Vikings, ancient Egypt, Romans, you know... All kinds of different cultures wore dreadlocks and uh, to associate people with just one because of what they're doing that's narrow-minded man not on this channel not on this channel we're open-minded around here yeah man yeah man three years and two months of free form dreadlocks what a journey it has been what a commitment it's been and i'm still learning and living every single day like i forget they're on my head i go into shops with them with them out and you know when people look i'm like what the, what, what, what's 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 the issue and i'm like oh yeah shit why <laughs> let's tie these bad boys up so you can see what the crack is so it's a bit of a a rainy Sunday, so I thought I'd brighten up my day by making a dread report, seeing as it's time, seeing as it's time to check it out. Yeah, man. Easy to tie up. Two big dreads round here. Tie them up, boom. Can see that now. Yeah, man. I'm happy with that. That's so comfy. No headband, no nothing. A uh, little comment for another little comment for anybody who's doing the dreadhead journey or do it, starting it out. Don't worry about the temperature. I don't know if it's me who's a bit stubborn with it, but I don't overheat. Like we've had some really really hot days in the UK, and I'm I, ha I had one day where I was quite bad, but yeah, the dreads don't make a difference. I don't think. I mean, some people say like, oh, you know, I bet your head overheating with that on it and stuff but the dreads get hot but my head doesn't it's weird it's weird because if like if i take my do-rag off and my hair comes down then it is it is quite hot i can feel the heat within my dreads but because the tied back it's just all all at the back and i i think yeah i think your hair does regulate your temperature obviously it does because you sweat going into it and stuff like that I do think human beings are meant to have hair and long hair. You know what I mean? What did we do before trimming it off and stuff? We just we just grew natural and grew it out into dreads, I suppose. Before all barbers and fashion took over and culture. So, anyways, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop drop some feedback, drop a like if you can. That'd be absolutely great. Let me know any comments. If you have noticed a difference within the dreads from uh, this month's report to last month's report, let me know. Any dready questions or dready information, also let me know. Make sure you're taking it easy, having a nice life, making sure that the world, uh, the world ongoings don't affect your mental state and get too engulfed in negativity. Keep the peace going, keep the love going, and make sure you're appreciating, it, appreciating each and every day, man. Yeah, man. See you next week.